Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story and I am excited because we are reading one of our favorite fish stories. That's right, we are about back with the Pout Pout Fish. Another Pout Pout book. This one is called The Pout Pout Fish Far Far From Home. The Pout Pout Fish, far, far from home. Pout Pout goes on a vacation really far from home and some things don't go the way they're supposed to. But we've got to get inside and see if it all works out and if Pout Pout has a good vacation. I love going on vacation and I love coming home from vacation. And we're going to have to find out if the same thing happens to Pout Pout. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. The Pout Pout Fish, Far, Far From Home. Written by Deborah Deason, pictures by Dan Hanna. Mr. Fish sent off for flyers and he studied each location. Then he picked the perfect place for his very first vacation. Look, he's reading a book called Exciting Places to Go. He's going on vacation. Amazing sights to see and only one day's journey there. So he planned and he prepped and he packed his bags with care. I'm a fish who'd like to travel. I'm a fish who'd like to roam. And I'm ready for adventure on my trip away from home. He started bright and early, feeling fresh and fishy fine. And his trip was going great till a flashing orange sign. It says detour, which means he needs to go another way. May I help you? Asked a ray. Do you need a local map? There's an easy way around it. You can be there in a snap. Well, there's somebody there to help him. Mr. Fish said, thanks. And he started off anew. The route he maneuvered had a marvelous view. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam. And I'm having an adventure on my trip away from home. He circled round, then round about, and soon was back on track. And his trip was going great till he reached for his snack. Oh no, he's all out of snacks. May I help you? asked an eel. Do you need a place to eat? There's a briny good diner on the very next street. Somebody else to help him. Mr. Fish said thanks and he quickly found the place. Their flavorful creations put a smile on his face. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam and I'm having an adventure on my trip away from home. Refreshed and full of zest, Mr. Fish hit the road and his trip was going great. <gasps> Till a bump jarred his load. Oh no, he hit a bump and spilled out all his stuff. May I help you? Asked a crab. Seems your luggage overflowed. There's a rest stop ahead. We can re-secure your load. Now the crab's there to help him. There's so many people helping Mr. Fish on his way. Mr. Fish said, thanks, and they handled the repair. His day had been exhausting, but the end was nearly there. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam, and I'm having an adventure on my trip away from home. He finally reached the lodge, found his room and got unpacked, and his trip was going great till he saw what he lacked. Oh, I really thought I brought it. And his heart beat faster. I forgot my snoozy snuggly. My vacation's a disaster. He forgot to pack his favorite snuggy. Oh no. I don't like to travel and I don't like to roam. This is not a great adventure. I just want to go home. Now he's starting to pout. He felt sad and dreary, weary. All his plans were falling through. But he'd come so far. Was there something he could do? 
He took a deep breath. It soothed his commotion. A thought reached out all the way across the ocean. I miss you very much. I don't like that we're apart. But until we're back together, I will hold you in my heart. He's dreaming about his Snuggie. And this Snuggie's dreaming about him. Feeling warm and snug with love, Mr. Fish fell asleep. And he woke the next morning with exciting plans to keep. His vacation was fantastic, full of happy and array. What amusing things he tried. What a moving sights he saw. Look, he went on a whale ride. He went to see a shark. He got ice cream. Wow, he did so much. Look at him going down that big slide and surfing on that big wave. That's a great vacation. When his trip was finally over, he reflected on his stay, the things that he had learned and who he'd met along the way. He was thinking about all the people that helped him on his trip. And now he's headed home. Not every single part of a trip goes swell, but the detours and the bumps are the trip as well. I'm a fish who loves to travel. I'm a fish who loves to roam. And I had a great adventure. Now it's nice to be back home. Ah, Pow Pow made it home. He made it home to his Snuggie. Wow, he had quite the adventure. First he got detoured, and then he lost his snack. But there were people all along the way to help him. And then he got there and realized he didn't have his Snuggie to sleep with. Oh, that is so difficult. But then he realized all he had to do was think about Snuggie because he always carried Snuggie with him in his heart. That's the great thing about the things we love. Sometimes we can't see them or don't have them right there with us, but we always carry them with us in our heart. This was a great book. I'm glad Pow Pow went on vacation, and I'm even happier that he made it home. Vacations are so much fun, but I love when I come home from vacation and I get back to my own house and my own bed and my own friends. That's my favorite thing is coming home. Don't you love being in your home? It's always fun to go on trips, but don't you love when you get to come home? Your mom's there, your dad's there, all your people are there. Home is a great place. I'm thankful for my home, and I think tonight I want to pray about that. I want to thank God for the home he gave me, the people he gave me, and the people he gave you. So let's take a minute and pray together. Fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for my wonderful home, for my husband and my children and my family and my grandbaby and all the great things that make coming home so special. Thank you that I get to go on vacation and have fun, but thank you that I have such a wonderful home to come back to. Please watch over my friends in their homes and help them to really appreciate the wonderful home Home they have. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my little fishy, time for you to get off to bed. I need you to swim under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when you're out on your adventures, swimming around, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read a book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.